Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury's. The Cadbury Show! <laughs> the best piece of good news you've heard in a long time. Quarter pound blocks of smooth, creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate have actually come down in price. It's true. The price for quarter pound Cadbury's dairy milk is now reduced from two and threepence to two shillings. There's no doubt about it, Cadbury's are the people who really know how to make chocolate. Of course, the same tip-top Cadbury quality is maintained, same quarter pound weight guarantee. Only the price has changed, and changed for the better. You can now enjoy a quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate at the new price, two shillings. More than ever, Dairy Milk is top chocolate value. All the more reason why you should say, I want Cadbury's. Hey, Puss. Hey, are you in there, Puss? Yeah, come in, Herc. <laughs> what are you doing up here in the attic? <coughs> I'm looking for something. Anyway, what are you doing up here? Nothing. Just going. <laughs> Look, uh, you ought to do something for that cold you've got. Oh, I, I am doing something. What? Going. <laughs> As I said to my friend Paul, his name's Paul Bearer, I said to him, my doctor's a funny bloke. He'll be the death of me. <laughs> Look, forget that. What brings you up here anyway? Oh, I thought you might like to go to the pictures. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing the show down at the local. What's on? Marilyn Monroe with a good support. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't go till I've found what I'm looking for. Well, I'll give you a hand. Right. Start on that box in the corner, will you? I can't find it anywhere. Okay. Hey. <laughs> What's all these letters tied up with blue ribbon? Don't you worry about them. Just you keep looking through the box. They're love letters. No, they're not. They're business letters. Jellybean lets me keep all my old trunks and things up here. And it so happens that a lot of old business letters are amongst them. Let's see. Dear Angel Hair, I wanted you to have a picture of me, so I'm enclosing a snapshot. Yours confectionately, Imogene. <laughs> You call that a business letter? Well, she was giving me the business, wasn't she? <laughs> Look, this is only a waste of valuable time. <laughs> Look at the snapshot. <laughs> oh, put it away for Pete's sake. She must weigh every bit of 12 five stone. How much? 25 stone. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Baby fat, that's all that was. Now turn it up. You know, Purse, it's things like this that are ruining our highways. All right, all right, school's out. Now do me a favour, will you? Get on with the search. OK, Purse. You know, it's the strangest thing. I can't find it anywhere. Is it in that box? No, nope, it's not here. I wonder where it can be. Purse? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? What are we supposed to be looking for? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, oh. Look, now I'll have to look through that box myself. Ah, oh, here it is. Me insurance policy. Now, come on, let's go downstairs. What are you insured against, Purse? Fire and flood. Why that? It takes care of anything that happens while I'm either smoking or drinking. <laughs> it also has an accident clause. If I get knocked over by an Eskimo driving a car on a Wednesday, I get a thousand. Come on. <laughs> Skillet, put on the lid. Mammy's gonna make a little shortening bread. That ain't all she's a going to do. Mammy's gonna make a little coffee too. Mammy's little bread, shortening, 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 shortening bread. Mammy's little bread, shortening, 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 little bread, shortening bread. Lying in bed, who was sick and uttermost dead. Sent for the doctor, the doctor said, You better feed those chillin' on shelter bread. Man, Slip to the 
chicken. Slip up the lid. Slip my pockets full of shortening bread. Stole the skillet. Stole the lid. I stole away the gal to make shortening bread. Make me a regular shortening, shortening. Make me a regular shortening bread. Make me a regular shortening, shortening. Make me a regular shortening bread. They caught me with the skillet. They caught me with the lid. They caught me with the gal making shortening bread. I paid six dollars for the skillet. Paid six dollars for the lid. I spent six months in jail, but he can shout me bread. Man, he's very hot, so big, so big. Man, he's very hot, so big, It's on everybody's tongue. The quarter pound blocks of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate are now selling at your chocolate counter for two shillings. Yes, smooth, creamy dairy milk has actually been reduced in price. That makes dairy milk even more today's top chocolate value. Mind you, dairy milk itself hasn't changed. There's still that famous glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound, plus the deep down goodness of Cadbury quality chocolate. Take advantage of these lower prices by buying a block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate tomorrow. Remember, only two shillings for a quarter pound block of dairy milk. From now on, make that your extra special reason for I want Cadbury's. Hey, Tilly Bean, what? I found it. I've got the insurance policy. Oh, good purse, I'm so pleased. I always think it's a good idea to be covered, don't you, Mr. Hercules? Oh, yes, especially if you're going out into public. <laughs> Jellybean's talking about insurance on your life. Oh, I could do with some of that myself. Insurance? No, life. <laughs> purse hasn't insured his life, so I've, I've persuaded him to take out a policy for £5,000. Then it's worthwhile. Worthwhile what, Jellybean? Only a few drops of ground glass and your cocoa, and I'm on ice. <laughs> I'm the one they'll put on ice. <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding you, Purse. I know you're insured against fire and flood, but I think you ought to have a big cover. Yes. How about an aeroplane hanger? <laughs> go on, go on. All right, I'll call the insurance company and tee it up. Where's the phone? Uh, I suppose I'll have to wait around. These insurance people don't care whether they get your business or not. Hello? Hello, look, I want to take out a policy for 5,000 quid. How do you do, sir? Good morning, sir. Glad you rang, sir. Just send in your cheque, sir. Good day. Aye, aye, just a minute. <laughs> I want a policy. Oh. Yes, sir. We insure against everything. Life, wife, or strife. Oh. Well, I want a 5,000 quid policy on my life. A five? You do? Oh. Oh. Commission for everybody. Well, look, um, just send me the policy. Put it in the mail and I'll send you a cheque. Oh, just a moment, sir. We don't issue insurance like that. Oh, dear me, no. We have to muck you about a little first. Look, there's no risk attached to me. I don't drive fast cars or fly an aeroplane. Ah, but do you sing? Who, me? Not likely. Oh, very good, sir. Our biggest risks are singers, you know. We have a special scale for them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and nevertheless, sir, you'll need a complete physical and mental examination. I'll call around this afternoon. Right, our mate. This is 23 Cuckoo Avenue. Thank you very much. I've got that. Now, remember, you must answer all my questions truthfully, and you must be 100% fit. Don't you worry about me. I've got pioneer blood in my veins, I have. My great-grandfather crossed the Nullarbor Plain on foot. In fact, he discovered the first water hole. Oh, where was that? A little place called Chaser. About 18 miles from what you have. Oh, 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 very good. Oh, yes. Well, very well, sir. We'll see you this afternoon. Until then, uh, adios. What's that? Oh, sir, in the Spanish language, it means goodbye. Ah, well, uh, swindle your income tax return. Uh, what's that? That means goodbye in anybody's language. <laughs> well, the examiner's come on the Savo and I have to go through a test. Well, I don't like to be a wet blanket, but I can't see you passing a physical exam first. And why not? 
I've still got a waistline, haven't I? <laughs> I'd call it more of an equator. <laughs> what you need is a little exercise. That's a good idea. Look, over there in the bookcase. Now look, this book has some good exercises in it. The Boy Scouts Handbook. Who wants to exercise hands? <laughs> well, there's pickpockets. Hey, look, those exercises kept me fit as a boy and they'll keep me fit now that I'm a youth. <laughs> you read out the first exercise, Herc, and I'll do it. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Take the left leg and wrap it round the right leg, then pull them both up in a square knot under the whiskers. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. That's how to skin a rabbit. <laughs> Here we are. Here you are. Here it is now. Um, uh, how to keep physically fit. Oh, first, this is easy for you. It says start by bending the elbow. Very funny. But I've been standing here for five minutes and I haven't reduced an ounce. Now get on with it. I know a good exercise. You've got to get into a reclining position. Oh, that sounds hard. No, all you do is lie down. Oh, right. Now, roll over on your face. On my face? Yeah, that's yeah, the idea. Right. Now, now relax. Relax? Yeah, relax. Spread your arms out. That's it. Now let yourself go real limp. Real limp. Good day, Mrs. Isn't it lovely? Blimey. He's going to have a shocking hangover. Hey? <laughs> oh, it's Sam the salesman. Yeah, Sam Paul's the name, but you can call me Sam. Hey, yeah. what are you doing down there? That's none of your business. Hey, let's get on with it, Herc. Right. Now put your left leg up and put your left leg down and put your right foot up. Ain't you telling it all about? <laughs> oh, go away, will you? Sell whatever you're selling and buzz off. Sell? Right, I'll do that. Here, how would you like a canteen of cutlery, missus? Well, that sounds just the thing. Oh, well, I haven't got a canteen of cutlery just at the moment, but I'll have one tomorrow. We're breaking into the canteen tonight. <laughs> here, look, here. I just got the very thing for you here. Like, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a stopwatch. Oh, I used to have one of those when Purse was a runner. Oh, did you ever clock him? Only when he got fresh. <laughs> hey, here, look, Mum, this stopwatch is only 17 and 6 and guaranteed. What do you guarantee? Well, we guarantee it's stopped. <laughs> How else would I get them at these ridiculous prices? Oh, yes, by the way, I had a lot of trouble today. The council have changed all the house numbers in the street. What? Here in Cuckoo Avenue? That's right. That vacant block down the end there is now number one, so all the others move up. Well, I wonder why the council didn't tell us. Oh, it was awkward. Was it? Yes, it was very awkward. Oh. I had to deliver a Shetland pony to number nine, but now that's number 11. And oh, it was very awkward. Oh, well, tell me, Sam, why was it awkward? Because a lady in number 11 was expecting a baby. <laughs> well, that won't interfere with me getting on with my exercises, will it? Go on, Eric, what's the next one? Now... Put your left hand on your left hip. Right. Now put your right hand on your right hip. Yeah, now what do I do? Well, if you don't fly away, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we've all got to leave the nest sometimes. That's huh? it! Uh, whoa, hey, look, what is going on here? I wish I knew. Well, if you must know, I'm getting myself into condition for an examination. I'm taking out an insurance policy. Yes, and if anything happens to him, it'll be worth 5,000 pounds. Hey, don't you think that's a bit of a risk? Putting it in the form of an inducement, like... Hey, just a minute. I'm beginning to like this idea. Ah. You pass this exam. You get 5,000 quid's worth of insurance. You cross Cuckoo Avenue at peak hour and Miss Elsie inherits all the money. She waits a couple of days and marries me. Ah. Yes, I can see it all now. Paris in the spring, the Riviera in summer, Monte Carlo in autumn, and back to Aussie in time for the pickle-picking season. In time for what? The pickle-picking season. Good uh. Ah, uh, excuse me. What for? I'm going to buy a travelling run. So long. Did you know they've altered all the house numbers in our street? Eh, uh, no, Elsie. That means we're no longer 23. Well, that doesn't affect our age. <laughs> it just means that we take over Mrs Reynolds from next door's number. Well, that's funny, Elsie, because I was just talking to Mrs Reynolds. Were you? Yeah. What were you talking about, men, or I should say, who were you talking about? It's her daughter, Patty. Oh. She's going to have a special test this afternoon. Mr Carew from the Department of Information, Education, I should say, is coming out to test yeah. her. And if she passes, she's going to skip a grade at school. Oh, I'll bet her mother's pleased. I'll say. And the teacher said there's
There's no seeing how far she can go at school if only her father would stop helping her with her homework. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, he wasn't too good at school, you know. He didn't get a pass at any subject. Arithmetic, history... I mean, arithmetic and history are hard subjects. It's not so much the figures, it's the numbers. Yes. But do you know he even failed lunch? Oh, mm -hmm. Just the same, he did pretty well to get out of his school. Ah, uh, was no harder for him than was for me. Was your school surrounded by a high brick wall with armed guards around it? <laughs> no. Then he did pretty well getting out of his school. Men, what are all those books you've got there? Oh, Mrs. Reynolds is giving them to Patty if she passes this test this afternoon. Oh, yes. But she doesn't want Patty to see them in case anything goes wrong. Oh. Well, you may as well put them over there in the bookcase, men. They'll be out of the way right. there. Come on, Herc. Let's go outside and try it under the trees. Purse! Purse, what are you doing with that rope? If you hang yourself, we miss out on the insurance money. Don't worry, Jelly Bean, I'm just skipping. Oh. Yes, it helps get his breathing right. <coughs> like me. The trouble is I can't get the rhythm right. Oh. What is it the kids say when they're skipping? Oh, you mean one potato, two potato, three potato, four? That's it, but what comes next? Oh, why don't you hop in next door and ask young Patty Reynolds? She'll That's a good it. idea. All right, be a minute. One potato, two potato, <laughs> three potato, four. You know, Mr. Hercules, the way Perth throws himself into these things, I sometimes wonder if he's all there. Oh, he's all there. It's just that some bits are in the wrong places. <laughs> hey, hey, what's that burning? Oh, dear. Excuse me, I left my leg in the oven. <laughs> Is the kingdom of heaven So this is that sweet promised land While angels tell of love Don't break the spell of love Hold my hand So this is the garden of Eden In dreams it was never so grand Let's never leave again Adam and Eve again Hold my hand This is the secret of what bliss is For bliss is what your kiss is At last I understand So this is the kingdom of heaven And here on the threshold we stand Pass through the portal now We'll be immortal now Hold my hand This is the secret of what bliss is For bliss is what your kiss is At last I understand So this is the kingdom of heaven And here on that threshold we stand Pass through the portal now We'll be immortal now Hold my hand Hold my hand Next time you buy yourself a quarter pound block of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate you're in for a pleasant surprise Apart from that well-loved flavor and that fresh, creamy milk, you'll find dairy milk has actually come down in price. In these days especially, it's refreshing to find that Cadbury's have actually brought prices down. That's sure proof that Cadbury's really know how to make fine chocolate. Quarter-pound blocks of Cadbury's dairy milk now cost only two shillings. So if you like a bargain as well as a flavorsome, nourishing chocolate, ask for quarter-pound dairy milk. But be sure to say... I want Cadbury's. Oh dear, someone at the door. It'll probably be the insurance examiner. I'll let him in. Hell, what hell, old boy? Carew, the jolly old name. Carew? Just a minute. Weren't you in the Navy last week? No, that's right, old boy. And here I am, right on time at six bells. Well, nearly. I'm three dings slow. <laughs> How do you like this new job? No, oh, it's just like the Navy, old boy. I'm all at sea. 
Ah, oh, you mad, adventurous rascal, Carew. I remember one occasion I was shipwrecked on an island for three weeks with my secretary. Which island was it? Tasmania. <laughs> you were shipwrecked in Tasmania? Yeah, that's what I told my wife. Uh, but I came here to conduct an examination. Yes, we were expecting you. I say, what a fascinating library. Always a good sign to see a lot of books about. Do you mind if I have a look? No, go ahead. Mm, what an enchanting collection. Freddy the Frog. <laughs> Tom Swift fights the space monster. The gingerbread man with Bobo, Barbar and Boo Boo. <laughs> Who reads these books? Oh, Purse. <laughs> he likes Bobo and Barbar, but his favourite is Boo Boo. <laughs> He can touch people with his magic wand and turn them into pixies. Does, that, does this person believe in the little people? Believe in them? On Saturday night, he sees them. Hmm, <laughs> yes, well, uh, I'm quite looking forward to our meeting. I'll get him for you. Hey, Paulus! Yeah? Here a minute, will you? Coming. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. My mother said I never should... <laughs> I didn't know anyone was here. It was just playing Skippy. <laughs> yes, 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 my boy, I see that. What about a go at uh, I call in my very best friend? Right, now. I call in my very... Hey, just a minute. <coughs> oh, yes, <coughs> yes, of course. It's a pity I'm rather good at Skippy. I knew you were coming, so I was getting ready. Ah, that's the idea, my lad. Remember the motto that's written on every Boy Scout's belt? Be prepared. Why on his belt? Well, because then he's prepared if his braces bust. <laughs> oh, you mad comical creature, Carew. Yes, well, <clears throat> let's get on with the examination, eh? Okay, I'm ready. Um, actually, I thought when I was sent hard that I was to examine someone else. Oh, no, Percy's the one. He needs it. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> well, they've given me some strange assignments. I have the right initial, haven't I? It is P. That's right, P for purse. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, well, I'll get on with the questions. I had instructions to start on a more advanced test, but I see I'll have to resort to one more elementary. Fortunately, I have the elementary test with me. Now, I don't want you to hold anything back. With my bill, that's impossible. <laughs> hmm. Now then, ready for the first question? Yeah. Very well. What does the moo cow say? <laughs> uh, am I going too fast? Um. Oh, I don't get you, mate. No, of course, dear boy. With some, it does come more slowly. Well, well, let's move on and try the second question. Now then, I'll say a word, and you have to say the first word that pops into your quaint little mind. <laughs> aye, 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 just a minute. What's this got to do uh, with... Uh, 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 you've got to cooperate, you know. Uh. Now, here comes the first word. Cup. Saucer. Hmm, that's surprisingly good. <laughs> Now, boot. Kife. <laughs> Just a moment. A boot shouldn't remind you of a cafe. He's had the boot out of more cafes than you'd know. <laughs> yes, well now, we'll try just one more question. Who killed Cock Robin? Who ki- I look, mate, I don't understand this. I didn't expect this kind of examination. Aren't you going to listen to me heart or look at me chest or hit me knee with a rubber hammer or anything? Uh, no, but um, later we may tap your head for echoes. <laughs> I, I, I must say, I've come up against some problem cases in my time, but this tops them all. Oh, I, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Oh, that's OK. Elsie, this joker was just giving me my exam. Oh, how do you do, Mrs Reynolds? I'm Carew from the Department of Education. Uh, uh, I'm afraid I, I've had the unpleasant <laughs> task of giving this boy the ten-year-old intelligence test, and uh, he hasn't passed. <laughs> My dear Mr. Carew, you've come to the wrong house. This is number 25 Cuckoo Avenue, isn't it? Well, it is now, but they changed the numbers today, and the 25 you're looking for is now 27. Then you're not Mrs. Reynolds. No. Oh, I say that's very funny. <laughs> you can't help laughing. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? Mm. Given me a ten-year-old intelligence test. Yes, and you failed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Mr. Carew, <laughs> there's just one thing before you go. Yes, my boy. What is it? Mr. Carew, what does the moo cow say? Thank <laughs> you.
Until next week, we leave you with this pleasant thought. From now on, the price is two shillings for quarter pound blocks of Cadbury's dairy milk. Only two shillings, and that's not all. These other favourites, Cadbury's Candy Nut, Milk Lunch, Old Jamaica, Fruit and Nut and Energy Chocolate, have also been reduced to two shillings for the quarter pound block. Enjoy the same world famous Cadbury quality, but at a lower price. Each thick chunky square of dairy milk and those other Cadbury chocolates are full of deep down flavour, full of nourishing goodness. Lovers of good chocolate everywhere are asking for Cadbury's dairy milk. It's the most popular chocolate block in Australia. That popularity has helped to reduce the price for everyone. Treat yourself to a two shilling quarter pound block of Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate tomorrow. Dairy milk. More than ever, your good reason for I want Cadbury's. In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard Minnie Lovers Minnie, Kevin Brennan as our old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Ward Leopold as Sam, Walter Sullivan as Carew, and Rita Pornsford as Elsie. Songs were by Helen Lorraine and Clive Wade, the music by Ida's Mason, the script was by Hugh Stuckey. Now, this is Reginald Gold's, really, saying good night to you all from the Cadbury Show! <laughs>